Welcome back, everyone, to some more Dishonored, episode four. <clears throat> part four. Part quad. Part quad, part boat. Is it a boat? Is it a plane? No, it's a video game. So last time we started on our first mission, and we collected some runes, accidentally lit a dude on fire, still don't know how that happened, and we snuck into a doctor's office. Here's a painting of the, uh, of the spy master. This is the dining room, and that's his safe, and... Uh, I ain't gonna give it to her, fuck it. <laughs> it's not my house. And this is the wrong power. I'm looking for the heart. Oh, is there nothing in here? On the first day? I could've swore there was. Well... We could at least loot the place, right? I might be a little bit quieter. Um, I know I noticed in my first three videos I was kind of forcing some commentary, which isn't the best thing. Wait, to... did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can we just... No, Staircase. I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats and they carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Five bucks says he's got your booty. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like? He failed the Gears of War tryout, so that's why he's here. I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. Well, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I didn't mean to do that. I was just going to open the door and walk on through. Probably good thing that I didn't. Nighty night, xenotype, zebatite, xenotype, xenomorph, alien son of a bitch. So yeah, as I was saying, there might be little times when I get a little bit quiet, trying to concentrate on the game and all. <clears throat> and also, I don't want to force commentary because that's just that's lame. It's gonna be shitty if I force it. Not that it's already not shitty. I mean, I'm recording off of a tablet, but we've already gone over that. <clears throat> we've already gone over that enough times. Oh, this is the way we came in. Uh, I don't know the combination off the top of my head. They change every game, I believe. No. I might be wrong. Spooky noises. So a thing about the sleeping darts, if they're unalerted, if they're not alert, alerted to your presence and you hit them, it's almost, you know, instant. They're going to stumble, they're going to fall over. If they are alerted to you, like in the last episode with those um, gang folk, they will still come back, it won't have an immediate effect, it'll take a few seconds to kick in. I'm gonna make her feel like a whore. Because all the guards are gonna put all the guards are knock out, I'm gonna put right there. 
that she's going to wake up and be so confused. I'm getting cocky. I'm running around and stuff. I shouldn't be doing that. A note. Dear Miss ben Benton, when cleaning my study, I ask that you can constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my books off. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether. Otherwise, I'll have to reconsider the terms of your employment. So that door was locked. You have to find uh, Dr. Galvani's key. I guess I picked it off of one of the guards. But, uh, let's fuck with this book off, shall we? Oh, that, now I remember. You see this rat right here? The plague rat, Viscera? You, t you break into here, you take that, and that's what you use to poison the distillery. Um... Remembering that now, I am going to go ahead and get out of here because there's not much for us to do here yet. Not anything really worth it, so. These are the spring razors. A spring razor trap can be attached to any surface by aiming at it and pressing the left trigger. It will be triggered as an enemy approaches it Throwing up a cloud of shrapnel, and it cuts them to fucking shreds, man. Pretty brutal. Pretty cool. Is there not another door to the outside up here? What I should be doing... is looking for the combination of that safe. There's a door up here. Ah. Back to Clavering Boulevard. Basically, that was a pointless trip. I'm sorry, everybody. I hope you can forgive my incompetence. Let's see if we can find a way around, shall we? Are you a good guy? Are you a bad guy? Oh. Come up, he probably smells. That's for being bald. Fuck wad. Cold as a whaler's gaff hand. Fifty years old at least. This guy fought for the Empress. Forget his old man. I can't even remember the Empress. We tagged it plain. Under Clavering Street is our. Come on. What's the take? Twenty. Plus two elixir. Look like 25 to me. Look here. It's what the oh, I'll kill you. Somebody get over here. Let's see what's inside you. I will take your wallet. 
and I will take your wallet, and I will take these elixirs. Thank you very much. Go fuck yourself. Death is a good band. Oh yeah! So, there is a quick select. You can use the D-pad when you're here. Select whatever you want to be quick selected and hit the corresponding button on the D-pad. So I want my arrows, I want the heart, blink. I was actually deselecting them. Like a pleb. Go fuck yourself. Wait. What? I'm stuck! God damn it! It's nice. I can't tell, it looks like he's wearing a helmet. Or a hat. But I bet he's bald. He probably he's probably bald everybody, it's okay. Confiscated rune. We found the strange room, rune on the woman who used to sell pastries up the street. Not sure how she died, but since the thing looks superstitious, we set it aside for the overseers. After your shift is over, take it to them for disposal or whatever they do with them. Don't forget. And this will be rune number two for us. Let's see if we can get anything with it. We can upgrade dark vision. We could upgrade blink. We could upgrade our agility. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with agility for now. You can now jump higher by pressing A. By pressing and holding A. So yeah, this is Corvo when his height when he's crouching, but you can see this desk, I shouldn't be able to go under it, but he ducks down a little bit lower. Little icon changes in the bottom left, bottom right, bottom left, I was right the first time. Uh, how about we do a little bit more exploring first? This is not where I thought it was. Not where I thought it was at all. Rewire tools. These will allow you to rewire traps, pretty much. This is exactly what they do. And I was spotted at the last second, but I've already been seen before. So, fuck it. I haven't, well, I can't say I haven't killed anybody because I lit somebody on fire. But, uh, let's not talk about that. to 
come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? Or the rats? Jasper, isn't it? That's not so bad in here. Except I miss your wife. Got him! Ha! You don't scare easy, I'll keep... What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the boy, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kernow. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits. If I see Samuel the boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the high overseer. I hope he has a grill. A Pretty hungry. Their enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. I'm not killing anybody. Maybe I don't know. I'm starting to think that maybe I should just say fuck it. Because uh, although uh, you know a pacifist run. A non-lethal playthrough is fun. I don't know if it'd be the most entertaining thing to watch. So that upgrade I got earlier, the agility, that's your normal jump, but if you jump and hold A, that's that double jump I was talking about. And it's going to make this next part much easier. But I did spy the face of one so branded, a former member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer, or even the high overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need... A weapons. heretic's brand, you say? I will. Sounds interesting. Hey, I missed. Fun fact. You can stand on the lampposts. Rat! Damn you! And this is explaining that there are multiple ways in for every mission. We could either A, go down there and go underneath through the um, dog kennels. We could go killing everybody and just walk in right at the front door, or we could do what I'm doing, walking up here on the uh, window ledges and sneak in through the window. Interrogation room. Hmm.
The Great Trials. Not what I'm looking for. What we have is a man, aged 30 perhaps, slender, unusual tattooing on the face and chest, probably superstitious heresy, wearing some sort of industrial mask when we brought him in, stolen out of one of the whaling factories from the look of it. You're one of Dowd's men, aren't you? Caught at last? Give us a name at least. What's wrong with his eyes? Opium? Laudanum? Are you with us? What's he doing? Some kind of fit? It... He's gone. Here it is. A pin. Hidden in one of his gloves. Subject has administered some kind of poison. The effects seem to have been lethal. Dowd. A and a whaling mask that they use in the factories? But this is what we're here for. The Heretic's Brand. The heretic brand is reserved for those overseers who have committed heinous, heinous acts against the order, but I'm not broken codes that would otherwise result in execution. No contact, aid, or shelter can be given to one bearing the brand. That person is forevermore unwelcome to the abbey and its affiliates. When used, the brand is applied to the forehead, so all can see the sins of the recipient. The chemical compound acts immediately. Scarring the heretic for the rest of his life, or for the remainder of life. The interrogation room here at the office of the High Overseer stands ready for branding ritual, should the need arise. This recipient must be strapped into the interrogation chair and restrained as the brand is applied. The heretic brand itself is to be stored in the same room. And this, my friends, is how we're going to take care of the High Overseer without killing him. But first thing is first, there are a lot of guards here, and we need to take care of them. The door is locked, so I can't go out that way. Um, maybe there's a key in here? Did I miss it somewhere? that book health potion oh it looks like we're going out the way we came in That door is locked, then as good a place as any, I guess. That was just a little bit scary. There's the interrogation room key. Well, now I have the key, so we don't have to worry about anybody unlocking that door. Unless you know there's more than one key, but who would give more than one key? Right? It's not like they're guards. It's not like it's their job. Right? Guys? There's a rune over there. Two runes here. Hang on just a second.
Well, guys, <clears throat> this video has gone a little bit long enough, and my dinner is here. So I'm going to pause it here, and we will continue next time. I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play so far. See you guys next time.